Here we go. Dang, we're already like 16 minutes. I would cut back, but you know what? I just want to keep talking about this. Alright, Flurry, hope you enjoyed your time here. As free. You know what? I'll give Hayden some screen time. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Anyway, um, continuing on with what I was saying. Dude, look, look how fast I'm going down the freaking place. Anyway, um, I think he really just admires him, just how, because of all the cool man image that he got. I mean, look at, even Izanagi said to rep represent masculinity, while, like, in this case, Konohana Saki was meant to, be, uh, to represent femininity. And as in the originally intended, um, I'll probably say this in the character analysis video for Yukiko. Shortcut. Wish I could jump down like that, but I can't. I can't jump down here! Anyway, um... But, anyway, for what I was saying, uh, Yukiko's persona is supposed to be paired up with Izanagi, so... It looks like... Head cannon right here. Head cannon applied. It looks like, uh... Soji's originally paired me paired with Yukiko, which I'll discuss that argument when I have my shipping video. Where I have my opinions of shipping, like who I think should be with who, and my reasons for it. But... Oh, come on! Though, to be fair, I didn't see that coming. You know what? You're getting the, you're getting the power bounce treatment. Get over here! Yeah, you get the fatality right there. Okay, here's the broken thing. This is kind of messed up. See? He should be taking damage, but he's not. Which kind of sucks. You know what? He's your prey. Go, Hayden. There you go, that's it. Anyway, back to Kanji. Um, honestly, I think, like I said, it's more of an admirable thing. I do not want that courage shell. I don't need it. Let's go back up here. I think that's really all about it. That's about it, all the things I wanted to say about Kanji right there. I don't think he's gay, and those are kind of more of my supporting reasons that I failed. I think I failed. I don't think I actually said that, and that more or less popped into my head right now. I guess people see it because of how the shadow is, but that's more meant to be taken in a symbol. All the shadows, actually. All the shadows are supposed to be taken in a symbolic sense, but most people are taking it in a literal sense. At least that's how I'm seeing it. Which, that's gonna be something I say about in Chie's character analysis, along with Yukiko's, when I talk about the prince thing. Because the whole fucking fandom take the Chie is my prince in a literal sense. It's not in the symbolic sense that even the shadow fucking explains. It's honestly disappointing. But, I mean, that may maybe that makes me sound like I'm a hardcore fan, which I guess you can say I am, because honestly, Persona is my favorite series. Even though I've only played two out of four games, it's my favorite series, and I want to play the other ones too. You can't go into that pipe yet. You can't, no matter how hard you try. You gotta shine, bitches. You gotta shine on. Anyway, um, that's the shine on shine, I guess, but whatever. Anyway, um, it's been a while since I actually said uh, shine bitches when I think about it. Okay, let's actually take uh, what we need to take to air. Okay, get down, get away. No, don't get on the Yoshi yet. Okay, now that we're here, uh,. Hmm, I'm gonna want Bobbery up front. How many shines do I have? I've got 12! Damn! That's pretty boss. Ballin'. Okay. Let's actually go turn in our shine sprites to this guy. Oh, no, wait, wait. I've got a quest to finish first. And now I need to go to the restroom. I have to pay! Yosuke expresses his reaction in the most elegant way possible. Anyway, whatever. Moving on. Let's go on. That's pretty much all I wanted to say about Kanji. If you still think he's, if you think he's gay, because remember, as as I said, even I said the video. I'm gonna say it here. Atlas has their opinion on it, and what they said is, it's up to the player. What you think he is, that's what he is. They're not saying it because no matter what, you get controversy like this. 
And I ask that none of you fucking flame me if you think he's gay or bi or whatever. I think he's straight. He's very misunderstood as the fandom that claim, at least in my opinion, the fandom that claims that he's gay is. I mean, you can counteract it, like I said, but it doesn't matter. Take your badge. Well, this is certainly the badge that I was looking for. These are the droids that I was looking for. Oh my, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, my sweet, promise to hear me out without getting mad? You see, I was the one who hid that badge. It was a little game of mine. I have to apologize. But I knew you would find it, my handsome cheese hunk. You may have even more badge finding skill than I do. Skills. Hmm, I just thought of something. Perhaps I should just travel with you from now on. Because, mm-hmm, <laughs> I'm sure to find lots of badges. That way, that way, don't you think? Now, about that reward, let's see. Take this badge that you managed to find, but I expect you to lead me to more. Well, we practically got our reward, and on top of that, now wait, now let me formally state that you will now enjoy the pleasure of my company. Yep, and a kiss. So that wasn't what I was talking about. Miss Malice joined your party. You probably saw that star piece hidden there, by the way. Perfect example for what or about this. Press X and Miss Malice will sniff out any items or objects hidden nearby. There doesn't seem to be anything in this area, dearie. When you press X, I'll sniff out around and tell you if there are any items nearby. There's something right near here, sweetie. You don't say! If there's something nearby, I'll let you know, just like I did just now. Aw, the treasure chest is going away. In battle, I can attack enemies with my love slap. Wait, why is it, shouldn't it be a dialogue box coming from her and not the... Well, you know, whatever. I can also help you out by using my Kiss Thief move to steal enemies' items. Miss Mouse is really the game itself. Yeah, she can steal items from enemies, so you know how, like, they don't always drop them? Like, we saw two and like, two of those Koopas with the, with the Courage Shell and the one with the Power Block, or the Pow Block, yet only one of them had it. Yeah, look, see, Miss Mouse is sniffing it out right now. Oh, right, you got a star piece, which is nice. Okay. I want to put Bobbery up. Because Bobbery is the bomb. The bomb! Uh, he, he's the best. Who's the man? By the way, a couple of days ago, it was Junpei's birthday. A day before that, it was Colleen's birthday. And the day after Junpei's birthday was Kanji's birthday. It's pretty cool. Kanji is the best. Kanji, I think, I, I'm gonna say right here, Kanji, I think he's now my favorite character of all of Persona, just because of how much I respect him. You'll see more of why I respect him when I LP Golden. Trust me. Welcome to the House of Merlin. Alright, I'm gonna power up Bobbery and Miss Malice right now. Shall I power up this partner? Yes. Because Bobbery is the best. Shazubi! All late. Shazubi! Gooby, please! Then you may go. Okay, let's look at their new skills. Miss Mouse has T's, which can make enemies dizzy, though it's not really that great. She doesn't have that many good moves. Love Slap is the only attack, because the rest, she's kind of like a status ailment user. Kinda. Because Kiss Thief steals items. And really, she's more or less the one that can cause a bit of status ailment, in one sense. Well, um, the other item, uh, the next move she can get will be like that. Bobbery, oh, he got hold fast, which is kind of like uh, it's kind of like uh that uh, that uh, spite pouch, but it's not as great to me. I don't I don't find myself using it. However, yeah, okay, you gotta talk to him through here. Up. What's this? An up arrow. An up arrow. Up. The movie. Let's go watch it. It's a really sad movie. Hmm. 
How can we help? Of course! That was terrible. Huh? A red sphere. Oh god, he's got the blue orb and he's got the red orb. Dude, don't you dare be doing what I think you're doing. I had enough of that two years ago. Or three years ago. Almost three. This is the Ultra Stone, so that is what the star sign... Okay, thank you. At least it wasn't the red orb. I picked this up at, the, at a flea market years ago. I forgot it, it was in, forgot it was in the attic. With this, I can power up your partners even more. Sweet. Nice. We are cooking now. Let me show you. Do it, do it. We can only power up two people right now, so choose wisely. You know who I'm choosing? <laughs> Bobri. Let's do it. Because what he gets next is the best move to me in the game. This is his best move. Uh, the best move out of any of the partners, in my opinion. It's really good. As you're going to see for yourself. But for the, for, for the next person, I'm honestly not sure who it's going to be. Care to power up more? Yes, can only power up one person. So now he's ranked two. Rank up! Bobbery, like, you become friends with Bobbery. Bobbery will now die for you. Oh, okay. Okay, no, okay, look at this. Miss Mouse can use Smooch to boost Mario's HP. I'll explain that later, but, um... Vivian has Infatuate, which is a status ailment move. Actually, she's more of the status ailment. Anyway... You got Hayden. Okay, Stampede right there. There's a whole strategy with that, which I'll try to explain in a later video. Flurry, this Dodgy Fog, Coops gets Shell Slam, and Goombella gets Rally Wink, which basically she'll sacrifice her turn with a cost of a few uh, uh, FP to give Mario another chance to attack. This can work if you have certain strategies with this game, but I'm not a strat like that hardcore of a strategist for this game. But anyway, um, who can I give this to? I've only got Vivian or Goombella in mind. Hmm. You know what? Ah, crap. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Vivian. Because, okay, telling you guys right now, the people who I intend to use a lot through the whole game, the most used partners. Top three right here. Bobbery, Vivian, and Goombella. Goombella because, of course, the... What do you call it? The Tattle? But, you know, I honestly find her head bonk and, uh... Multi-bonk, or multi-bonk, pretty good. Then you may go. And as for, uh... As for the... As for... Uh, Vivian? Um... I mean, come on. Shade Fist is great, and Fiery Jinx is amazing. The fire status element goes a long way. It's a lot more beneficial than you think. It stacks up, especially if you're in a long-lasting battle. It's good to have her for boss fights, because if you just even if you just do her regular attack, and if it's successful, it'll, they'll get burned. Okay, we got some more quests, but, uh... Oh, this one. Oh, this one's gonna be good. Actually, I may as well take this one right now. Y you know what? I'm gonna take this one next. But I'll take that in the next part. So, next time on Paper Mario, this is a longer part, but you know what it'll do. We, we will continue more of post-chapter, uh, chapter five. Okay, you know what? There's somewhere I need to go. We need to go to the Thousand-Year Door. We're going to go to the Thousand-Year Door, so we're going to get the location of the next Crystal Star in the next part. Actually, you know what? Let's do it now. Let's get the next location now. Screw it. I'll make the park last a little longer. Or let me at least, let's at least go there. Besides, I need to show off what happened. What? Wait, did I destroy the the uh, block? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. No, I haven't. And look at this. We have new enemies. Okay, I'm not sure if I can actually kill the if I have the spike shield up. So I I'm not gonna take a chance. Oh, you're kidding me, right? You're... This is a joke. You know what? 
You know what I say to you two? Get over here! Oh, they're they're frozen. If only they were. Tr no, no, no! I'm stopping myself right there. Okay, you know what? I may as well get the tattle on them. Okay, he's gone. Let's get their information. Vegeta, what does the scouter say? They were actually getting some good uh, SP at, or yeah, star points out of it. This. That's a Koopa Patrol. A Koopa Trooper protects himself with spiked armor. He is not as bad as a dark Koopa Patrol. Just know that. Max HP is 6, attack is 4, and defense is 2. It attacks with its shell and it would... and with its head. Then sometimes charges up for a fierce move. Plus, if you take too long to win, you'll call reinforcements. Yeah, sort of gnarly, huh? Who says that? It's one of the worst of Bowser's guys. Koopa Troopers dream of being Koopa Trolls. Hey, and by the way, what do you think Bowser's doing now, anyway? Eating? That's a good point. What the hell is Bowser doing? Oh, look at that, 14 star points. Imagine if we got our star points to go up twice. Okay, from here on, it might be a good idea to have the spike shield. Do I have it equipped? No, I don't. I'd have to drop something for that, though. Uh, we won't need ice power. Piercing blow won't be that much needed. Crap. Wait, wait. Please tell me I have enough. <sighs> Somebody's going to take the sacrifice. <sighs> Multi bounce and power bounce is so helpful. You know what? I'll take the damage dodge off myself. I got the pretty lucky. Spike shield. And you know what? Um. I'll give myself the piercing blow back. Because Spike Shield is going to come in handy. Okay, right here. Hey, I thought I... What the hell happened? Break the damn... Okay, good. There. See, now we don't have to worry about going all the way up to go to the damn airplane panel thing. Okay, here we are. Here we are. At, you know, I'm not going to bother with the cutscene anymore. Screw it. I'm just going to get... I'm just going to save here and call it apart. I don't want to... I, I can record a little more, but I need to go to the restroom really bad, and I'm not, I don't want to waste any more time, so... Anyway, next time on Thousand Year Door, we're going to go to the Thousand Year Door, and we're going to... I think in the next part, we're going to try to wrap up post-chapter 5. If not, we'll go another part. This will be the long, one of the longer post-chapters. Anyway, if you like the video, leave a comment, subscribe, check out the videos. You know what? Don't like this video, stay gold. Oh, and by the way, um, if you want to say what you think about the, what the whole talk about kanji... I, I can admire, I, I, I can understand that, but just please don't try to start anything. I mean, technically, why should I be saying that? But I don't want any controversy here. But anyway, that'll be it. And until next video, stay gold.